gentlemen. So as you can tell, I am in a new location. This is my brand new space. It's still uh, a mess right now because today is cleaning day and I'm recording before I clean. Um, but I'm hoping you guys can hear me better. Um, this is kind of a closed off space. This is like the nook area of my room and there's a lot of cars going by so that's going to be a con to this new space but I hope you guys don't mind that. I finally have a desk so I'll show you guys a picture now. I did post it on Instagram and a lot of you guys complimented me highly on it so I was really excited. I was just really excited because I'm hoping this can help my videos be a little more consistent and um, still be able to use natural daylight without being so close to the window to where everything is blinding. So let me go ahead and get into what this video is going to be about. I uh, do work with Zoya as some of you may know with their newer collections. Um, I love the company. I've loved them for a long time. I have a nail polish collection up here which features like pretty much all Zoya polishes that I bought on my own. A uh, little disclaimer, these were sent to me but I have been purchasing Zoya for years and I've always been a huge fan regardless. So. It will be 100% my honest opinion as usual. I have two different collections to show you actually. One of them is just a topper and it's a um, special edition. I don't think it's limited edition but I could be wrong. Um, but let me show you the collections first. Uh, first one is the Awaken collection and these feature more like pastel colors. There are six of them as you can see here. And then the second collection is going to be the Magical Pixie Dust, which is their new Pixie Dust collection, obviously. These are like more amped and amazing, so I'm so excited to show you guys that. Uh, let me start with the, oh, and then the topper is going to be Monet, which came in their little triple box but obviously it's just one of them. So I'll start with the Awaken collection since it's the biggest one. Um, as usual I'll have swatches for you guys. I'm wearing uh, two of them right now. Uh, one is from the Awaken collection. It's the green one so I'll show you guys that first <laughs> in Dylan and it's this gorgeous color right here. Um, I'm wearing Monet over it so if you're wondering what's on my nails it's very like Little Mermaid-y if you wear like purple eyeshadow or something so you can always pair that up which would be fun. This is the spring 2014 collection and I do think you can already get your hands on them. There are six new full coverage dew drenched creams and gold kiss metallic nail polish colors for spring 2014. Full of pure pigment, intense color and modern complexity that will take you far beyond the hazy, barely there hues of seasons past into a new world of chromatic joy. So that's a pretty accurate description if I may say so myself. They are gorgeous. These are the six here. I'll go ahead and run through them individually so you guys can check them out a little closer and in more detail. The first one is the one that I mentioned before I am wearing right now and it's Dylan. It's a green mint shimmer metallic color. It is gorgeous. Like the description mentioned, it is like dewy looking and it's so pretty. Um, I don't know how they make these formulas so gorgeous, but they are also friendly as you guys know for vegans. They are five free so they don't have any of those harmful chemicals. Uh, if you want to see my... Uh, other collection video I did go a little more in depth of the company itself and the ingredients and all that kind of stuff. Next I'll go ahead and show you guys the blue one which is called Rebel. And it's like a sky blue shimmer metallic color, also very dewy looking, gorgeous. Then I have Hudson which is like an orchid purple shimmer metallic. I do have this one on my toes and I didn't even use a top coat and it looks so incredible. Dot is a little more on the neutral side I guess. It's not as crazy, shimmery, dewy, anything like that. It's just a, like a petal pink and it's a cream polish so this is a little more for you ladies who don't like anything too showy but still want a nice pastel spring color. Just one of those classic beautiful um, creamy pinks that won't look too like Barbie doll. So I really love this one as well. Then there's Cole, which is a peach whisper cream. Again, another kind of understated color that's still beautiful for spring and it's just like a pastel orange, um, like a creamsicle color. 
I just wanted to put all of them on my fingers and I almost did. And then I have a Brooklyn here. This is just a white gold shimmer metallic. This is probably one of the more complex ones that I see because it is almost a yellow but it still stays in the tone of gold and you can see the metallic shimmer which just makes it look like gorgeous and dewy without making it look too like glittery gold so this is one of the most beautiful colors it won't make your nails look yellow and gross like you have a fungal infection so obviously that's a good thing as well um, but I absolutely love this These are the six from the Awaken collection. Before I move on to the pixie dust, um, let me go ahead and mention Monet. That would be good because this is a topper that you can wear with any of those six colors um, or any color that you already have in your collection. And oh my god, I'm so in love with this. Seriously. Um, this is what it looks like here. It looks like a pink in the bottle, but that's really just a gel. And I'm going to go ahead and read it from the website as well. It says it can best be described as a multicolored cellophane holographic special effect topper. You can apply it as an accent or use as an overall color changer. What I love about this is a lot of times with other brands um, with these polishes, once you're applying it, the glitter tends to like settle in a specific spot of your nails it's never very consistent the flakes on this one are so consistent that it just glides so smoothly over the entire nail so I just did one coat and all of my nails look absolutely beautiful and done so I didn't have to try to settle it into certain areas like most glitters that's another thing I was really impressed by with this formula of the Monet um, topper so I highly recommend you guys get this if you do have one of the colors from the Awaken collection even if you want to use a color you already have from past Zoya collection this is a beautiful topper. I'm going to move on to the Magical Pixie Dust um, collection. If you guys are familiar with the old Pixie Dust collection, these do dry with like a matte finish, just showing a bit of glitter that just makes it look gorgeous. They are probably more long lasting than any other of their formulas. They're so awesome when it comes to that. They won't chip or anything. You don't need a base coat. You don't need a top coat. All you need is the polish itself. Um, they came out with three perfect shades for this new collection. I love that they included like a more neutral hue. They have the pink one and then the blue one. So it just gives each individual um, with each different personality a chance to pick out whatever color they would normally gravitate to the most. These are pretty much the Pixie Dust polishes taken to a whole other level. The silver one here is called Cosmo. It's a silver based texture obviously and it has multi-size hexagonal holographic glitters. Um, it has the same hollow sequence in all of the three shades. The pinky purple one is called Lux. And this is more of a cool toned pink polish. It's like a rose quartz, I think is what they described it as, which is incredibly accurate. And last but not least is this gorgeous one, and it's the blue one, and it's in Vega, I believe. Yeah, Vega. And this is a light blue, almost like sea foam. And I read on a blog that this one specifically completely retains its color depth on the nail, which is really true. It is very beautiful, very complex um, color wise. And I think this will give you another kind of oceany look if you like that mermaid look, like I do, obviously. These colors are just gonna be absolutely perfect for spring. I think that if you like a more textured look, this is definitely the way to go for you. Um, as for removing them because they are so matte and glittery and all of that combined, they can be a little more tough, but if you take care of your cuticles, cuticles, like I have been with um, oils and things like that, um, it sh won't be a problem at all. I have horrible cuticles as you guys probably know from my past videos um, where I close up on my nails a bit and they have been doing just incredibly well even after using these. So what I do if I do use these to remove them um, so that I'm not too rough on my fingers is I just get a cotton ball or a cotton round and soak it with acetone or nail polish remover. Um, if you can find a more natural one that would be good. Leave it on your nails uh, resting on there for like 
20 to 30 seconds and then it'll easily glide off. So that's probably the best way to do it so that you're not just rubbing them over and over again. Uh, so I would kind of limit my use with these if you're going to be removing them and putting them on a lot just because it's going to be a little more rough for the nails since you're not putting a base coat or anything like that. But I absolutely love them, would highly, highly recommend them. It is like the pixie dust colors to a whole other level and I think that those chunks of the holographic glitters just add so much more beauty to them and they were already pretty freaking beautiful so that says a lot. So this is two different collections plus Monet. As usual they do give you a catalog here that has their different colors. So this here is the pixie page which hopefully you can see. And there are the swatches for Awaken and I do believe you can order the little spoons of samples. And here is the color chart that's about to open with 300 colors to choose from. Um, I believe just from their other collections. So obviously Zoya does have quite a few different polishes to choose from. Uh, Monet is featured in the front here and in the back as well and then they kind of tell you a little bit about, about the company so you can know you know why to choose Zoya and all that good stuff. Their packaging, their customer service, their shipping, um, the way that they include this beautifully done pamphlet, just every single thing about the company just makes me so happy every single time I deal with them either on my own with my money or with you know working with them it's been that pleasant of an experience both ways so as a customer and as a partner I have been extremely happy with Zoya and I will continue to support them all the way through all of their collections that I'm so excited to see in the future so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I was thorough enough if you have any other questions please feel free to leave those below um, maybe I can do like a story video for my makeup next because I do have everything set up now on my desk. I love you all so much and I hope you have a great week, a good weekend, all the good stuff. Stay positive and I'll see you next time. Bye!